What's up guys? Sheldon Zam over here. Thank you for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be talking about five reasons why I vlog. Please. What? In life, if you're going to do anything, you need to be passionate about it. Right? And if you're going to be passionate about something, you need to have reasons. If I'm going to do this, why do I want to do it? And the same goes for YouTube. So that's what this video is. This is me telling you why I do what I do with regards to YouTube. Fair enough? Reason number one. I have family all across the world. I've got my mom who lives in Taiwan, my dad, stepmom, a lot more family who live in Joburg and dispersed across Gauteng, family who live in Limpopo, family who live in the Western Cape and in the Eastern Cape, just everywhere. And I don't get to see them that often. But I feel that this, this YouTube thing, is a great way for me to let them know what I'm doing, what I'm getting up to, and yeah, how I'm doing. So yeah, reason number two. I, I love adventures, okay? And I always like telling stories as well. So obviously those two go well together. YouTube and video making it allows this unique combination of just being able to capture reality and to convey how you experienced something. And that's, um, that's just something I love doing in a way that's more powerful than, than words can be sometimes. So, yeah, I love adventures and I love telling those stories. That's what I do on, on my YouTube channel. Reason number three, community. In my experience, YouTube allows community in a way that other platforms just don't. There's like this, this thing between YouTubers or YouTubers and watchers to just, to just connect, you know? YouTubers just want to collab, they want to speak to each other, they want to see how they're doing things. I mean, there's Facebook groups that I'm a part of, um, just exchanging numbers and planning things to, to get together, you know? And I haven't experienced that on another platform. There's also this connection that we've got going on here. I'm talking to you basically face to face, and yeah, there's an opportunity for you to let me know how you feel or what you think in the comments below. Um, Q and A sessions and all of that. I don't know. I just I just really like that this the sense of community that that YouTube offers. Number four, opportunities and exposure. One thing that YouTube has shown to me is that it just it just provides opportunities where you never expected. I mean, I made one video about a game development hackathon, 24-hour jam thing we did, where we just like basically developed games. Um, it was an event hosted by Drivco and NMMU, and after that, people got hold of me wanting to um, have me test out their software and all of that, which is really awesome. Another video I made about catching the sunrise on a paddle ski. Um, people got hold of me. They wanted me to come with them. Like a, I think it was a, a journalism, a travel journalism thing. And that was another opportunity. And just more and more, I can, I can list them. But I feel that YouTube is a great way just to expose yourself to, to opportunities and the world out there. Number five. I feel like YouTube is a means of me expressing myself. And yeah, it's like, it's like an outlet. Now you get different kinds of outlets, you get going to the gym, walks on the beach, talking to people, and those are all important. Balance is really important. But this I feel is a, is a particular outlet for me, just something that I enjoy doing, letting um, some of what's inside here, just giving it, like putting it out there, and it, like I feel better afterwards, it's just an outlet for me. Obviously I'm a student and as I said balance is important like varsity is quite important it requires most of my time and and that's something I understand. I would like to make vlogs every single day but you know prioritizing is important. I've set my standard weekly vlogs and sometimes uh, videos like this but you know I'm happy. That's basically it. If you are interested on Friday my weekly vlog is going up. It's about our trip to Limpopo, a game drive we took, and yo, there was just so much beautiful scenery. Um, we saw three of the big five and just amazing landscape. If you know me, I like promoting South Africa and the beautiful things there are here, so I would definitely advise you to watch that video. If you want to get a notification, hit the little bell down there, and yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, go for it. I do upload weekly content, and yeah, hit the thumbs up button if you did, if you did like what you saw, and 
Go and share it. Apart from that, cheers, guys. I'll see you on Friday.